Hey guys, it's Denise here, NOLA Collectibles, and welcome to my channel. I'm here today to do a blue box unboxing. These are the mixed jewelry boxes that go up on the blue box website every Friday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 5 p.m. Central Time, and these guys are $29.99 plus shipping, and this is a, it's called a mixed jewelry box. And so I uh, happened to snag two of them, and I actually just had this delivered, so I'm super excited. Came in a little box. Uh, with it was a really cool box it was like partitioned and in the top was one half of my order and the bottom was the other half of the order which was really cool um it seemed very economically shipped <laughs> but anyway this is what it looks like i think it's looking good i'm super super excited to get into it i appreciate you being here if you're new welcome my name is denise nola collectibles i am a part-time reseller i sell primarily on ebay and my shop name is nola collectibles so I'm going to get right into it. I'm going to pull items from here and let's see what we got. I'm pulling something out because it's huge and it's like right on top. And it is this massive, massive necklace. Uh, so super heavy and it has glass beads and it looks like some of them have AB kind of coating on them. Some are faceted, some are smooth. It's got these little dudes right here. This is really beautiful. Like I said, super, super heavy, and I'm looking at the tag here, and this one is looking like Kate Spade. So, wow, this is huge. I can't even get over the fact that this wasn't even in there. Massive. <laughs> I could see it through the bag and saw that it was, like, shiny and pretty looking. And it, I don't know. I couldn't tell if it was good quality or not because I feel like I have seen this design by other brands. I'm looking. It looks like there's some stuck on here, too. Hold on a second. It's a chain wrapped around here too. Hold on a sec. That's the thing with these bags, you know, they're just like mishmashed. Yeah, um, all right, I'm gonna have to get in there. It could be, I don't know, could be a gold chain, but it's like it's all tangled up in one of these little pieces right here. You can kind of see it like hanging out there. So I have to like get in there with tweezer and see if I can break that free and get it out of there. It's all tangled up in there. And then one of the little doodads just fell off now. So I'll have to repair that as well. But this is pretty amazing, y'all. Um, these huge, like almost like runway statement pieces by Kate Spade, these, these sell for like mage money, mage, mage money. Um, I want to say sometimes like $160, $175, even like up to $225. I sold one. It was like a huge plastic statement flower necklace. I think the original retail on that one was $229. So I'm going to have to do some research on this and just see what this bad boy had retailed for and kind of see what it's going for on the secondary market. But this is amazing huge and super high quality great kate spade piece wow okay that's super super exciting i don't know if i had mentioned this or not but this bag came from new jersey i think i want to say so we have um one of these guys right here this is just a little silver tone cuff doesn't look like it really has any name on it I'm looking here there is this kind of plastic bangle this i think it just looks like plastic to me and it looks like it's kind of made to look like carved cinnabar kind of that chinese or asian style motif that's very nice i think that's cute so we have that guy i have this kind of like woven leather bracelet here and it says on it what does it say tiger of sweden not sure but it's a really nice looks like a high quality kind of leather almost looks like this would be possibly men's jewelry i'm just saying because it's stainless steel and just kind of like the look of it you know what this reminds me of do you guys remember those international mail catalogs from the 80s <laughs> they were like the most ridiculous catalogs that was like i'll just put it this way that was a lot of there was a lot of package involved and i'm not talking about where your clothing shipped in but just Google international mail catalog and I'm sure the photos will come up and your head will explode because that's the type of vibes that that's giving me right now. But it's very nice. I'm not familiar with that brand, Tiger of Sweden, so I'll definitely have to look that up. I have, what is this? Is this a broken necklace? Yes. Okay, this is a very pretty, but looks broken here. This is a J Crew. This is really pretty, you guys. I have to see if this is like repairable. 
think it might be. It might just need a jumper in right there. But this is really pretty. You can see like just huge, big, 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 chunky, statementy, lots of rhinestones, bezel set rhinestones, marquee rhinestones. We got some pretty yellow. We've got the lovely kind of hot, hot orange detail there. Really, really pretty on kind of like an antique brass metal. Uh, typical J. Crew, but this one. This is pretty significant as well. So I would probably say that this likely also had a fairly high retail, um, manufacturer's retail, oh, it might be broken down there too. No, well, no, okay. This one will need to be repaired. I can, I think I can easily repair that. Um, that's fair, that's really, that's a gorgeous piece too. I really, really like that. So nice, big kind of beautiful J. Crew statement-y necklace there, that's fabulous. And that Kate Spade, really nice too. Let me leave some of these bad boys out so we can gaze upon their beauty right there. And we'll keep going. Okay. So far, so good, you guys. This is exciting. Um, these boxes are so hit or miss. I can tell you, I've had some you know, really bad ones that were super junky uh, coming from various locations. Uh, the New Jersey ones for me have been pretty good for the most part, if you can get them. I mean, you have no control over what they send you. They just send you whatever. Um, so this is just kind of like a faux large link kind of linked chain here. I'm not seeing any kind of brand on this, but this is nice silver tone, big chunky kind of statementy necklace there. Well, I see there's some kids jewelry in there. We will just put that aside. I'm seeing this, there's this kind of like leather and faux pearl multi-strand bracelet here it has an m on it not sure what that brand might be but it looks like it's also broken you can see there there's like a little piece of leather that's hanging out there and then it, it seems to have come disconnected from the pearl we have that here we have a gold tone little charm pendant gold tone necklace very delicate but long chain here and this one is loft okay this is very pretty this is just a nice kind of little like almost like a layering piece with this adorable tassel pendant right here it has some rhinestones on it and a cute little tassel you can see that there it's got yellow and peachy pink rhinestones that's cute from loft very nice that guy right there, that's not bad either. This is like feeling more like a thread up box to me. <laughs> With all this contemporary jewelry in there, usually this is not like the type of stuff. I mean, I have found stuff like this, but I was, like I said, this is feeling way more thread up to me than it is um, Goodwill Blue Box. I have this cuff bracelet here and you can see it's got the two Vs and it's gold tone. And this one is looking like, this is from Victoria's Secret. It's marked Victoria's Secret. This is in good condition. You know, to be honest, I haven't attempted to resale Victoria's Secrets. Um, you could wear it like that. Or you could flip it over and you could wear it the other way. Whatever you like. Um, I feel like it's so mass manufactured that I think the last time I checked, you know, I didn't see that there was like any kind of like a lot of resale value in most of the jewelry. Like I said, because it is so saturated. But uh, it's good for, you know, I, I did a huge garage sale a couple of weekends back when it was really nice out. And I think it's a good brand for the garage sale. People like it, you know, at garage sale prices. Uh, so I have this necklace here and this one's kind of just like a nice rhinestone bar here, different shades of blue and purple. And then this is on kind of again, like that antique gold chain. And this one is from Loft, also from Loft. Okay, so another piece of Loft jewelry. Are we all focused up here? Yes, I think we are. Um, so that's nice too. It's, um, like I said, it's got different blues, shades of blues and some opaque little kind of faux crystals there with the rhinestones and then some Aurora Borealis accents in there as well. So that's nice from Loft. I'll put that guy over there. Hope you guys are having a great weekend. We are having such gorgeous weather. It is nice and dry and clear and the temperature is like upper 50s. Uh, so it's really beautiful. We went out, we did a whole lot of shopping for plant stuff because, you know, they say here, like in New Orleans, you want to always wait until after Easter to start your plant because that's when the risk of the frost is over. But, um, you know, we, we had this like dip in temperatures um, and it was kind of rainy. So everyone was out in full force buying plant stuff. 
long story short. Anyway, so this is kind of cute as well. I like this. I'm not seeing any kind of, you know, branding on it, but it's a really pretty blue. And I like the look of the beads. It's kind of giving me like mod vibes. I like the elongated tubes and I like these little like flat rondelles. This is very cute. Like I said, it's plastic. It doesn't feel like it's any kind of natural anything, but I, I do like the look of it. And it is on a silver tone chain and the chain is in excellent condition. So I think this is a very cute necklace. I don't know, we'll see. Maybe I'll end up keeping that, probably. Let's see what else we got here. Oh, for today's jewelry. Um, I don't know if you guys have a Buffalo exchange near you. Buffalo exchange is kind of like thrift stores. You go and you sell your clothes to them and then they resell it and they'll give you either cash or credit. And then um, to be honest, like it's a store that's really for like early 20 somethings. It's near the colleges here in New Orleans. Every time I, you know, I haven't gone in there, I would say probably in like 15 years. And I was like, let, let me just go in the Buffalo Exchange. Let's see if they have any jewelry. So I went in the Buffalo Exchange and they had tons of jewelry. And P.S. It was all like Native American jewelry and Mexican sterling silver. And it was like all this amazing high quality jewelry. And none of the kids were looking at it. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Like it, the jewelry didn't match like the demographic of the shopper. So I got all this amazing jewelry for like super dirt cheap prices. So I got this like super cool kind of calla lily um, bypass sterling silver by vintage or antique bypass ring right there and then I got this um, kind of I don't know if this is Native American but it's got this the, a carved turquoise flower on it and it has all this like beautiful sterling silver flower filigree work on it on the sides there and this was um this is a adjustable ring but it is sterling silver they're both adjustable actually so I want to say that this one, the calla lily was like $15 and I want to say this turquoise one maybe it was 17. So it's not like thrift store prices, but it's definitely not retail. So uh, yeah, and I got a ton of other really exciting stuff too. So I got those bad boys and then um, this little, the Art Deco camphor glass bracelet, I actually pulled that out of my local thrift store jewelry bag. That's the ones I paid $39.99 for. So that was really exciting because it's beautiful. And it is um, diamonds and a legitimate Art Deco period bracelet right there. And then this is just a little kind of filigree sterling silver bracelet from Mexico that I bought like a few years ago. Not a few years ago, like many years ago, but yeah, I got it in Mexico. So yeah, those are the vibes. I'm feeling kind of like patinaed silver or just vintage feelings is how I'm feeling these days. <laughs> um, so this is just a silver tone stretch bracelet. It looks like maybe this was Napier. And kind of see, you see the N on the tag there, but it's like new with tag. It's actually very nice. It's nice and heavy. It's kind of got like, you know, that David Yerman cable look and the two-tone, the X's with the faux rope. Um, this is very nice. It feels very heavy and it feels like very good condition. So we have that guy there with the tag still on it, the partial tag. Um, I have this kind of gnarly looking vintage faux pearl necklace here. The coating is coming off really badly. So I will be putting that to craft. I have this. This what looks like um, a homemade rose quartz beaded necklace. You can see here, like the um, beetle on. It's very exposed there. So definitely something that someone may, may have made. But this, these are really pretty large millimeter rose quartz beads. So I'll definitely take. I'll take those beads. Those are really nice. Probably expensive too. And another piece here which looks to be homemade and similarly we've got this green stone here kind of like flat coin beads these are very pretty kind of like super minty mm, I think this may be like a dyed quartz possibly it's very pretty these are also very nice natural stones good for crafting good for craft projects I, I would like to see that reimagined into something fabulous what else uh, I think this is, what is this? This is a, I think this is a headband. It's got the stretchy fabric on it. So we have this, right? Headband here with the woven strands, black rhinestones. So yeah, we got a headband. I'll put that over there. Just pulled this piece out as well. This is like some kind of carved natural stone. It's like a dragon on a leather cord. Unsure of what that might be, but we have that guy there too. Uh, 
I see something good. I see something good. I see something I'm familiar with that I've sold before. Okay, I'm gonna take this out. Okay, and here I have a, this looks like a Tory Burge leather wrap bracelet. And this has the signature Tory Burge um, insignias on this. I, like I said, I have, I have gotten this in a thread up box previously. I actually had gotten a black one and this one's lavender. It's really pretty. And this is actually in better condition than the one I got from thread up. But I will say I sold that Tory wrap bracelet super quickly. I want to say it's sold in like a couple of weeks. So this is in really nice condition. This gold tone on lavender leather. It's got that really beautiful kind of looks like, you know, lambskin leather. leather. It's like really nice. It's, it looks very, it's very soft. It's in excellent condition. So this is great. This will definitely sell. Uh, maybe I'll price this. Like, I don't know. I have to see what the going price is, is on these. Because the last one I sold, maybe I want to say $30, $35. I gotta check, but like I said, this one's nicer condition than the one I got from Thread Up. That's fabulous, awesome. So yeah, I, I'm upholding my idea that this feels more to me like a Thread Up than it does um, a Goodwill Blue Box, but I'm okay with that. Here is this huge, huge linked kind of aluminum necklace here. It's got a blue cast to it. Really, really large, super heavy. And Oh, this one is from Zara. Oh, this is a Zara piece. Okay. Yeah, you know, Zara, contemporary brand, kind of like more, a little bit more upscale than a mall brand, Spanish brand. I think they started in Barcelona. And so, yeah, that's not bad. Uh, you know, this does look like a little bit of wear kind of by the clasp, but I'll have to see. I'm going to check into that. Oh, look, some, you know, Zara is like kind of considered like fast fashion brand, similar to like an H&M. So some fast fashion stuff sells well, some of it does not. So I, you just have to do your research, look up the style, see what you can find and see if there is interest in the resale of it. So I will definitely go ahead and do that. You know what's nice about some of those brands too? They did like capsule collections, like meaning they, you know, they'll partner with well-known designers and they'll do uh, limited edition limited edition designs. So uh, sometimes those limited editions, if they sell out because they're in very much high demand, then a lot of that stuff's very good for resale. I'm seeing some of these like weird little geometric bracelets and pulling them out. Do we have any more? I'm not seeing any more, I don't think. But yeah, okay, so we have these two right here, gold tone. These guys definitely could use a cleaning and it looks like maybe the Plating is coming off on these. Yeah, pretty bad. You can see that right there. That's pretty bad. Okay. So we have those. A couple of those bracelets. And this one, similarly, this one actually looks like brass. Yep. Just a simple brass bracelet there. I have this. What is this? This is it. Looks like a keychain. <laughs> so a little gold tone keychain with some little dangly heart and leaf and a little, um, glass with some gold sparklies in it keychain okay what else do we have in here i have this necklace here which is kind of what is this, is this? Oh, i thought it was fat farm it was like morally simmons brand it's not it's like a musical note so i don't know what brand that is but it looked like the the fat not the fat farm morally simmons what was her brand i don't know baby fat <laughs> It's close. <laughs> fat Horn was her husband. <laughs> Baby Fat with the cat. It has a cat logo, but I thought that was a cat logo, but it's not. It's a musical note. So I'm not sure what this is, but it's just a very simple kind of with the woven leather in between the chain links. So we have that guy there. Whatever happened to Fat Horn? Is this still around? Is, is Baby Fat still around? I have no idea. Definitely a moment in time, and that moment was the early 2000s. <laughs> okay. uh, this is pretty. This is a, a brushed gold tone, very muted gold tone, multi-strand necklace here, and it has this really cool clasp with this heart locket kind of component here. This is really pretty. Not seeing any kind of like known, known maker on this, but I, I like this. I like the simplicity of it, and it feels like very good quality. So, yeah. That's very pretty. Nice multi-strand necklace, brushed gold. And again, like it's got that little specialty component there, that little heart lock on the end. That's my cat whining for chicken. <laughs> he 
you hear him? He just wants chicken. What else? So this is kind of like where we're at. We still have like a lot of goodies left. So I'm gonna push some of these items to make room for the new goodies. We have this fabric for leather rhinestones, all tangled here. This necklace right here. This is, like I said, it looks like either fabric or leather and it has the rhinestones on it. We are looking at gunmetal components chain. Very, very pretty. I like this kind of, almost looks like a pave of rhinestones. I mean, I know it's not since, you know, pave is usually reserved for tiny, teeny tiny stones, but this is beautiful the way that it must be sewn into this component. Yeah, that's really pretty. It looks like it's suede actually and gunmetal and this one is let's see this is Deepa Guarnani okay I have I have sold Deepa Guarnani um pieces before it's fairly high end uh I've sold her earrings previously she is all handmade jewelry and I want to say some maybe something like this would probably sell for like maybe 45 50 dollars this is nice it's, it's a very pretty piece I like it a lot I think it's very unique like I said, the coloration of it is very pretty. It's, uh, it's nice. Awesome. Okay. Very, very nice blue box. I am not complaining. Let's continue on. I have this bangle bracelet here. And this one is looking like... This is a Lily Pulitzer. It's got the signature right there. It says 2014. And this one says... It says... A story written in the sun. A story written in the sun. That's all it says. <laughs> I thought there may be more to the narrative. I'm like looking here. Um, okay. Not bad, not bad. But it definitely has a lot of wear to it. There is definitely some scratching on it. And I'm finding Lily Pulitzer really is not moving so much on the secondary market. Um, I'm not the clothing. I'm not going to speak for the clothing. But the accessories for sure really taking a long time to sell so i'm not sure why that is i guess maybe for whatever reason there's a waning interest in lily pulitzer stuff maybe it's not you know people are i don't i don't i don't see the kids wearing lily pulitzer these days i mean but then again it's not for kids it's an expensive brand um i don't know yeah it's not selling for me really um for me a whole lot and the prices are very low so you know what stuff when stuff like this was actually probably was very expensive at original retail is probably like 45 bucks you know it, you'd be lucky if you get like 14 bucks for it 15. so yeah we have a lily pulitzer i have this chunky chain link bracelet here another victoria secrets piece and this one that's nice. It's kind of like a big old chunky and it's got a toggle and it has the Victoria's Secret wings there and um, a little bit of rhinestone detail there. Another brand, Victoria's Secrets, had its heyday. It's, it's owned by limited brands. They're now closing a lot of their retail stores. Um, so yeah. And you know, again, Victoria's Secret just mass produced items. So I, I don't see that these items have a ton of of resale value but it's in very nice condition so we have that little chunky dude there i have a choker i have a choker with a scorpion and the scorpion's missing some rhinestones so that'll go to craft <laughs> i have this necklace here i recognize this design this is um nicole richie's brand house of parlo Yes. Yes. Okay. Also, this was a brand that very expensive when it first came out. Very, very in demand. Um, hard to resale now. I don't know if they still manufacture. I have to check. I think they do. I feel like they still have a website. But she's very well known for making pieces with leather components like this. And so it's gold tone with the black kind of starburst like leather. And this guy does have, you can see here is like a there's a huge knot in the chain, like a huge knot in the chain. So I'll have to work at that or see if this is something that might be worth reselling. But yeah, this is a Nicole Richie's line, House of Harlow. It's like, I'm, I'm like checking my label. I'm like, I'm not sure the same kind of product. I'm positive, I did not, I did not. I have, this looks like, um, 
like Fitbit components here, like what you would attach your Fitbit on to make it more like a bracelet. So we have those guys. I have this weird looking, well, kind of looks like a, like a metal, like this looks like maybe someone's karate black belt. <laughs> kimono and it's like I don't know this looks like what you won as your in your competition like when you went for your black belt I don't know <laughs> so we have that guy if you recognize that as some kind of world organization that I'm not aware of you all tell me um here this is oh this is pretty um this is a silver tone bracelet hinged bracelet and this says it is from Henry Bendel and you can see there's got elongated kind of crystal rhinestone detail right there. Very delicate. I don't know if this, the hinge on here, if there's something going on with that, because you see how it's kind of sticking up there on the bottom. I don't know if that's broken or how that's supposed to be. Let's see. It's not stabbing me when I put it on. So that's a good sign. It's very cute. So yeah, Henry Bendel is the department store. Here we are, we're going back to Victoria's Secrets. But Henry Bendel was the Fifth Avenue department store, Fifth and Fifty Third, I believe, and uh, multi-level, and it used to carry extremely high designer brands. You could go into Henry Bendel, you get a Chanel purse. I remember they had like a wall of Chanel purses and like Dior, all of these brands, and then limited brands again came in and purchased Henry Bendel, and so they stopped carrying all those high-end designer brands, and then they started creating their own their own line of things. So all accessories and makeup bags, cosmetic bags, but mostly really focused on accessories, scarves and jewelry and all of those things. So, but now Henry Vendels is now officially closed. It is vacant. So there is definitely um, a lot of demand for Henry Vendel items on the secondary market. So I've sold quite a bit of Henry Vendel pieces of jewelry for very good money, depending on what the item is. You know, they're, you know, if it's very feminine, they were known for making like a lot of very girly gossip, you know, like gossip girly type items, like really girly, cute type of stuff. Okay, I'm pulling something out here. I can't read this logo. So I'm just gonna take my loop out really quick. says moaning duty duty maxine duty i'm not sure i see the duty so i'm assuming this is italian it's very pretty it looks like very nice quality i love it has you see here it's like this kind of crest right here um lovely kind of wooden links here with gold tone and then we have all of this multi-strand super shiny beautiful multi-strand big oversized clasp with a lobster claw clasp i'm gonna show you that tag up close you tell me if you are familiar with that let me look again because this one is it's written in script so it's a massimo duty let's see i think it's maxine duty I have not, I'm not, don't quote me on that. And I'll need to look that up, but it's very pretty. And it's very nice. It feels very designer. I like the um, multi-chains. They feel very like slick and it's very well made. So this is very pretty. I like this piece a lot. Not familiar with this brand, but ooh, these go up and down. So that's kind of cool. This is a nice piece of jewelry. I like it. Nice piece of costume jewelry. Unfamiliar with the brand. I'm going to assume some kind of Italian brand, but uh, yeah, that's very nice. Okay. Getting kind of down to the smalls here. Pull some of this stuff out. It's very tangled. Separating off some of these items. It's kind of like this. This is kind of like just a gold tone, but it's got a lot of missing <clears throat> wear on it. So I'll uh, put that to craft. Similarly, I have this piece right here. It's got an earring stuck to it. I don't think I'll be able to get it off. That's kind of just like a plasticky piece with um, some plastic beads component and a fringe. So that will go to craft. Trying to match up some pairs. Okay, this looks like another piece of 
House of Harlow jewelry. So again, this is very well known. Uh, they were very well known for creating these designs. You can kind of see how these guys are, are cousins from another, not from another mother, but from the same mother, Nicole Richie. Um, so yeah, <laughs> so this is kind of like a taupe leather. And again, you see how there's like very geometric, very, very similar. So this one, um, a little bit of wear to it. It definitely has seen kind of seen better days you can see here on the back like there's a little bit of wear to the brass and everything but it's still very nice okay so another piece of house of harlow jewelry i'm seeing, seeing what we have left seeing if we have pairs down to the earrings the weather by you guys what part of the country are you in let me know tell me what part of the country you're in i'm just curious because i like chatting with all of you guys and i think it's so cool that we can be here and we can all kind of chat with each other and be all over the place and we'll kind of all enjoy youtube together i get a lot of emails from you guys which i really love i try to answer them all i have this is my hobby you guys i am part-time uh, so yeah, I do have a full-time job, uh, which is uh, pretty stressful out my dad. <laughs> it's really demanding and it's pretty stressful. So I, I, you know, I try to balance it all together, but it's hard sometimes. But I love chatting with folks um, on email. Drop me an email. If you have questions about reselling, I'm always happy to help. If you have questions about jewelry, if I can help, I'm happy to, to do that. Uh, I'm, you know, I, I will share my knowledge with you. I think part of what we do here on the internet, whether it be Facebook or YouTube or whatever, I think part of what makes it so wonderful is that it's information share. And we get to share with each other what we know, our respective expertise, our backgrounds. Our backgrounds is what brings our knowledge. So I'm always happy when you guys share your information with me. I hope you appreciate it too. Okay, so I pulled some pairs out here while I was talk, 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 talking. Um, these are a pair of RJ Graziano earrings. They're really, really cute. They've got, they've got this like really, they're on gunmetal. They've got this little crown theme here and they have all these really fun little charms on there. So you can see there we have like a little angel, a little padlock, there's a little pearl. These are really beautiful. And again, RJ, R, RJ Graziano kind of was very well known for making these chandeliers type contemporary pieces of jewelry and brought back a chandelier earring in a big way in the early 2000s. Uh, another one of these brands that not so much in demand anymore, but did make very well made, nice quality jewelry. So these are nice, this is a nice pair of earrings. I'm just looking to see if it's missing rhinestones. I'm not seeing any. Um, so these are very cute. I like those. Nice pair of little RJ Graziano earrings. I have this bracelet here. And this is just a gold tone bracelet. It looks like costume to me. Let's see. I haven't really had too much um, what looks like precious metal here. There hasn't really been anything that's fooled me. It's been mostly contemporary, modern, you know, modern kind of jewelry, contemporary jewelry here. I don't think this is anything because I could see wear on the metal. So we have this little like costume jewelry gold tone bracelet. I have a single tassel earring, which looks very much like bobble bar. Yes, that is bobble bar or possibly sugar fix. So one of those. I have this pair of oversized stud earrings, gold tone. There is no brand on these guys, but they are navy blue. They very much look like loft to me. So you see here, just an oversized or J Crew. J Crew made these as well. Oversized faceted rhinestone earring. Those are nice. Put those guys right there. What else? I have another pair of chandelier earrings. I don't think these are any brand. I don't see any branding on them. Silver tone with a little crystal dangle. Very delicate. We have these guys here. And I am missing rhinestones on this guy. There's a couple of little missing rhinestones. So you can see that there. And this guy here is looking to me almost like a Betsy Johnson style, just judging from, yep, this is Char Charming Charlie, not Betsy Johnson. 
has me fooled. It was like, this, this is what made me think Betsy, but not Betsy Johnson. So a little Charming Charlie bracelet here with ribbons. It's actually in very good condition. It's cute. It's a gold tone. Um, again, Charming Charles doesn't really resale for so much because it's such a mass-produced brand. So we have that little Charming Charlie necklace. I have some hoop earrings I pulled out here. None of these appear to be precious metal or anything. They're just all costume, a pair of silver tone ones. And this one I think is a single. That one has like a little faux pavé. There's, there's this single earring as well. This one, no match to this one. This one looks like it has, it says AB on it. AB. Hmm. Not completely sure, but there's only one of those. I did find uh, this pair of earrings right here, which is very interesting to me. You can see here that they, these are fun. They feel like, to me, amber. I'm, trying, I'm smelling them. Sorry. <laughs> you might hear me smelling. Now I'm rubbing them. So with amber, if you rub them enough just to kind of like get a little bit of heat going, you can sometimes smell what smells like pine coming off of them, right? Because they are, you know, they're made out of tree sap. So that's why you get that. I'm not sure. It could be like, you know, modern, like reconstituted amber. Like I know countries like Russia and Poland are, are doing that. They have these very old manufacturers that are known for creating, um, making amber jewelry, but they're also making like contemporary styles as well. So that's kind of the vibes that this is giving me. Let me go on the back really quick here. The post, the post is 925. The back and the post say 925. So these are cool. I like them. I like the colors of them. Like they look like jelly. They're very like, like yummy looking. So those are very pretty like these a lot. I like these a lot. I think these are my favorite actually in the entire box. No, no, I just think they're kind of cute and whimsical. They're fun. I'm gonna, check, I'm gonna try those on, see how they look. A couple, again, more pairs of just like singles here, contemporary hoops. I have this little guy here. This one actually does look like silver, but I don't have a mate. Yeah. This will go to my silver scrap pile. I, I always save all of any kind of silver scrap. I sell it to Midwest refineries. They are a ref refinery. I don't go to the pawn shop. I don't go to a jeweler because the, those guys will skim sometimes up to 30% of your profit on your metal. So I send it straight to the refinery. It's called Midwest Refineries. And I get something like I think 90% payout on silver and 95% payout on gold. So it really is worth it. And um, it's very simple. You just go to their website. You download a form. You fill it out. And you send it in. I like to weigh it. I like to separate it because I'm like anal retentive like that. No, well, I mean, I just like to know what I have and what I'm sending in, right? To make sure I get an accurate, um, you know, check back, but it's always accurate. Very, very accurate. So that always makes me happy too. Okay. So this is really it, you guys. Nothing left in the bag. I did find the, these really cute, this kind of like cute contemporary pair of what looks like rose quartz and these are like little ear crawlers these are really cute also kind of look to me very like ann taylor loft Let's see if i see any metal on here metal purity these are really cute oh yeah they are 925 okay these are pretty love the color on them the rose quartz is pretty i love rose quartz yeah these are great these are great little earrings I like those a lot. Those are nice. All right, you guys. So that's everything. This is a fabulous box of jewelry. I love it. I, I mean, you know, not silver, not gold, but lots of contemporary brands. I think when I'm thinking about like some of my favorites here, definitely, you know, these guys, these earrings right here. Definitely the um, Depo Gornani. This is a really cool necklace. And I, like I said, she's a brand. She's, it sells for a decent amount of money. It's all handmade, typically. I do like this Italian brand, that brand unknown for me. I will need to research further. This is a really pretty necklace as well. I'm really happy with that one. The Henry Bendel bracelet, super, super cute. I like the um, purple leather Tory Burch bracelet. So lots of fun items, I think. And of course, this monstrous 
Kate Spade necklace here, which is just absolutely fabulous. So lots of fun stuff, lots of sparklies, you guys. I'm really happy with this. I think I did well. I'm going to definitely make my money back on this. It's these boxes from New Jersey. I'm telling you, they are usually so much better than some of the boxes I've gotten. Box from Nashville. Uh, I've got boxes from Ohio. I think oh, the boxes from Ohio, I think, were the worst ones I've received. Um, but yeah, this is really awesome. So let me know what you think, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. I appreciate you being here. Give me a like on the way out and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you at the next one. Have a wonderful day.